Hey everybody, Dan here from Sherp ET. We went to McMiller Sports Center to provide some more rides at the summer camp that was happening in 2024. Got a couple of other um, events there yet this year. Um, absolutely love the old trip trailer. That thing just works fantastic. It makes life a hell of a lot easier in pulling it. Uh, better gas mileage. Everything about it is just wonderful. I'm starting to get used to taking it on the trailer and getting it off the trailer. The key is to just let the thing use its torque and let it do its magic. When you're going in reverse, just leave it in gear. Um, take your hand off the thing, excuse me, take your foot off the throttle. And just let the thing do the work. Use those brakes to slow it down so it doesn't whack in the back and everything works just fine. The flag was not damaged too, by the way. Fall down less than that. Don't have the flag set up when you're taking it on and off the trailer. This particular adventure camp lasted a week and there was activities from here to eternity. One of the things that they were able to do was to go out and go on a horse uh, ride. And I think that the horse ride lasted darn near an hour. Everybody had a lot of fun. A couple of people were fairly nervous at the beginning when they got on the horses because it was their first time, but everybody quieted down and just had a good time. Now, I'm not a big horse rider. Horses and I just don't get along. I like stuff with engines. But if you were riding horses, they did allow the horses to actually trot a little bit so they weren't going this He's slow right the whole time. They had, they had a really nice time. I believe there was six different groups that I took out in the Sherp. A couple of them got to go a couple of times. Uh, we did rock, paper, scissors, and rock, rock, paper, scissors for who got to sit in the front seat. So that was kind of fun going through that. Nobody was hurt. Nobody really whacked their head. So overall, it was a successful journey. To me, the smiles say it all. They even had hunter safety going on too. A lot of people got to go through hunter safety for their first hey time. Guys. Is this your first ride in the Sherp? Oh, yeah. Are you a little scared? Yeah. Yeah, no? Okay, well, Dan's a good driver. You're going to be nice and safe. Have fun. And I'll bring down some stickers and some buttons for you guys for afterward if you want. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Another event they got to participate in, and Many of them got to shoot a bow for their first time, and what a wonderful course they have at McMiller. It's just fantastic. There's more 3D targets than you can shake a stick at. Beeping the horn there just to make sure if there was cars coming, it's kind of hard to see around the outside of the shirt, but they know that I'm a moving. But essentially, the the whole shooting center was kind of shut down just for this event. Big, huge pile of wood chips. These wood chips are probably, I don't know, six, seven feet up in the air. 
and the piles go up and down, so there was a lot of angle changes on that. It gets kind of violent in the back when you're moving up and down. You can probably hear the little sounds of people screaming and stuff. Just having a good old time. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on camera, but at one time I went over the back side of this pile and it was very close to the tipping point. And I actually got out and I was debating about actually shoveling some of those wood chips just to make sure that the angle wasn't too violent. We had a nice little course kind of set up, and most of the time it took about a half hour so to 45 minutes for us to go through that course. Okay. The wonderful thing about the Sherp is because there's so little pressure that's going on those tires, when you do go over something that is green, 90% of the time it just pops right back up again and you can't even tell that where I even went over those. But there's a lot of uh, dead ash trees that are here too. You will see me coming up here and knocking one of those over. People always get a big kick out of that when you do that. talk about these bumps well these bumps are all over the place the nice thing is again about the Sherp is it doesn't actually have suspension underneath it but you just let the air out of the tires about 60 to 80 um, millimeters of mercury in the tires so less than a pound of pressure is on them so that really absorbs a lot of the bumps here's that tree that I was talking about there were quite a few of those that we took down you like that dead? That tree's up a lot higher than what you think it is. The top of those tires are about 60 inches high. So that was probably up two, maybe three feet when I drove over the top of that. Pretty cool. I don't know any other vehicle that can do that. It would have been nice if I would have had somebody in the outside videotaping us going over some of those obstacles, but it's very difficult to do it at events like this, just because I'm making sure everybody is staying safe throughout the whole thing, and it's just one more thing to worry about. So I did my best with the 360. Hopefully you're getting a kick out of this. Well, this one you can't buy anymore in the U.S. Now it's actually a foot bigger than this other one. Uh, so the one, this one has, it's got a depth system on, I don't know if the diesel engine, you have to have that crap that goes in that ear and stuff. <laughs> this doesn't have that. So this was the last one that you could buy that's smaller. The other one, the tires are even a foot taller, and, but it weighs twice as much. So this to me is the best one that's made. Sherp's been running good. Nothing has broke for quite a while, which is wonderful. This is, I think, one of three different events that I'm planning to go to McMiller at. So if you do happen to go to any of their adventure camps, you're probably going to be treated with a Sherp ride. also some zombie nights coming up on Fridays in October. Not exactly sure what that means, but I think people are dressing up as zombies. There's going to be glow-in-the-dark stuff out in the woods, and I might be going there also and giving some more shirt rides. Time will tell. We will see. Each time I go here, I kind of go a little bit different routes. That's fine.
Thank you. Okay. Well, did you think it was cool? Yeah. Was cool. Hey, so what's going on here, Dan? Going on our spin, last one of the day. And where are you at? Are we at McMiller? Miller Sports Center in Eagle, Wisconsin. And this is Adventure Camp, Adventure right? Camp. And you guys, you guys are, are here for a week, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, have fun. Fun voyage. Thank you. Well, we're coming up to an end of this video. Hopefully those of you that got a ride are enjoying this. Look forward to other times uh, at McMiller this summer. We'll have some other adventures, hopefully out in the water soon. Take care.